What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow, we are talking about date and time actions, and we're going to talk about the Jet Past Time action. So, what is the Jet Past Time action? The Jet Past Time action is a way to specify uh, an interval and then specify a time unit to then um, get a previous time sort of back in history. Um, so this could be uh, if a sort of a, an email received on uh, the Tuesday at 2 p.m. I actually want to um, set something sort of for Tuesday at uh, 11 a.m. That sort of thing. So let's take a look at it here. So I've got Microsoft Flow here. The Microsoft Flow is just a manual trigger flow, uh, and we've got a current time action which I'm going to use as a demonstration. Um, so we're going to go to new step. You know, it's built in, or it's date and time, and we're going to get past time. Now, if you've watched my video on subtract from time actions, you'll notice that there is no base time to put into this action. So what this is actually doing is this is looking at whatever the time currently is in UTC, and then we're going to take time away from the UTC time. So the current time action is going to show us what the time is in UTC, and the get past time is is going to allow us to take time away from UTC. But we're not, we can't pass in another variable. So we can't pass in like the date an email was received, or the date an item was created in SharePoint, or a date a record was created in Dynamics. We have to just use the UTC value here. So for the interval, we can choose anything. So we could choose four, for instance. We could also put in some dynamic content. So we could have a number coming from somewhere else. And the time unit allows us to specify whether it's a month, a week, a day, an hour, a minute, or a second. So I'll we'll leave this as four hours for now. So let's test our Microsoft Flow. Go to test. I'll perform the action. Save and test. Run the flow. All done. We get the green message at the top, so it's all gone through fine. So let's look at the current time. So the current time at UTC is 14.14. The past time uh, action is now going to take four hours away from the UTC time, and that is going to be 10.14. So we're not passing in a um, an input from another step, so we're not getting the time from the current time like we did with the subtract from time action, we are sent, we're essentially just saying that we want to take whatever the UTC time is right now, we are to take some time away from that. I think that's really useful. It's different from the subtract from time action, so another usage for this. So let me know what you guys think. Are you using this? What do you guys use it for? Let me know in the use cases down below in the comments. Uh, if you could like and share this video, that would be appreciated. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ciao for now.